Last one, another plus money play for a team to make the playoffs. You're going with the Minnesota Vikings. How much of this has to do with the potential of Aaron Rodgers not being the quarterback in Green Bay? Absolutely. That is definitely part of it here. That could happen. I think that's something you should be factoring in throughout these bets. And I'm not entirely basing it off of that because right now I am assuming that Rodgers does play for Green Bay. That's in my win total projections that Rodgers is there. And even right there, the Vikings ranked eighth in the NFC and win total projections at 9.2. So if you take away Aaron Rodgers, that increases their division odds and also increases their win total projection because they do have two games versus Green Bay. So a couple of things could work in their favor there. It's the second year of Justin Jefferson. Their defense last year was bad, but it was also very young. You give those young guys a second year under Mike Zimmer, I'd expect some improvement from them defensively. So I like getting in on this one now before we see what happens with Rodgers. I wouldn't expect it to get a lot worse if it's confirmed that Rodgers will play for Green Bay this year. So I'd take it now and get ahead of things just in case Rodgers does get dealt. The Vikings went 7-9 and nine last year, just falling one spot short of making the playoffs in the NFC.